Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Strictly Confidential, starring Elizabeth Hurley. Get out. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. The links are in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys books 1 through 13 available at Amazon.com. Don't forget Kindle Unlimited is free. Thanks to all who came out to the Tyndall Road Brewery uh, in Bordentown, New Jersey uh, for my talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil. Next up, what is next up? Um, I think I'm going to Granville. I believe it's Granville. It's a, a, a senior living place in Burlington. On the second, I'll be at one more bar. Assuming it's not not raining because I am going to be outside for Gator Weekend. I'll be there for Saturday, and then Sunday I'll be at Zed's Brewing. I might try to get to uh, uh, for Gator Weekend at least part of that day. It depends on the weather. It depends on how it goes. Uh, because I am outside. Anyhow, let's get into this, uh, what is basically just one long soap opera. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Elizabeth Hurley's gonna make out with another hot chick. I mean, what else, what more do you need? Oh, right. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of boring stuff though, guys. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's gonna be a lot of soap opera stuff. A lot of people doing... A lot of things that uh, uh, it's just going to be uh, tiresome, tiresome in my view. It's it's everything drama. It's like everybody's sleeping with everybody else, everybody's lying to everybody else, and a bunch of women yelling at each other. But at least they got cut, low cut blouses, and they get, some of them make out with each other. So I mean, look at that. Woo! You can see it from here. Nice. Um, is it going to be a good movie? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, I think I'll just be bored with it until there's some nudity, and then I'll go, oh, oh, what, yeah, oh look at that cleavage. All right. All right, they're talking again. Um, so the plot of the movie is uh, the blonde chick's best friend kills herself in the ocean. And I think Elizabeth Hurley killed her and threw her in the ocean or attempted to kill her and then later she died because of her injuries. Strictly confidential. April 5th, rated R for adult situations. Oh, there's definitely some adult situations going on. Um, you know, between love and hate, there's somewhere lies the truth. There's, I don't know, some line like that. This is sort of a high-end hotel movie. It's just going to be endless near nudity with beautiful women and handsome men and uh, lots of drama. It's just nothing but drama. Just non-stop drama. Who killed her? Who's sleeping with who? I I want to know. Eh, not really. So first act, her friend kills herself or dies. I'm not quite sure. She They, they said in the trailer she kills herself. Um, it may have been made to look that way. I don't know. It looks like the blonde girl was there. Oh, Rebecca, I miss you. And then a year later, a bunch of people get together to honor her passing at a fancy resort where they shot this. And Elizabeth Hurley is the mom, <laughs> the hottest mom, on the face of God's green earth. And, uh, you know, everything's fabulous. Uh, Elizabeth Hurley decides to get some strange... Um, from writer director Damien Hurley, is that um, is that Elizabeth Hurley's son? Maybe I don't know. I don't know. You know what? There's a way to find out. As always, to the IMDb. All right. So this movie is called Strictly Confidential. There we go, Elizabeth Hurley, and. Lauren McQueen. Is that relation to Steve McQueen? There's a lot of Nepo babies in this thing, if that's the case. All right, let's see. Damien Hurley. Damien Hurley. Actor and director. Known for Strictly Confidential. Well, that's that's brand new. Uh, doesn't say. Doesn't say. Oh, parents. There we go. Elizabeth Hurley. Yeah. 
So, uh, Damien is directing his mom. I can't tell if that's a guy or a girl. I'm going to say a guy, because uh, they say actor. So, Damien's directing his mom. All right, Lauren McQueen. Let's see if Lauren McQueen is a Nepo baby as well. All right. She is... Born in 96, doesn't say anything about her parents, so may just be, may just be a coincidence, but still, um, so let's read the synopsis, a haunted young woman finds herself drawn into a world of seduction, duplicity, and betrayal as she desperately tries to uncover the mystery surrounding her best friend's suicide. It's just going to be endless drama. That's, uh, did she kill herself? Did she not? Was she murdered? And it's going to be shocking rev revelation after shocking revelation. It'll be very shocking. And then the biggest shock will be in Act 3. So it's going to be the first act, she kills herself, and then they come back in the second act to honor her memory a year later, because that's a thing, I guess, for rich people. And then um, they're sitting around the table eating their fancy caviar. And then at night, they're banging each other cr like crazy, getting in all sorts of intrigue. Meanwhile, the blonde chick's just trying to find out, did she kill herself or not? Was anybody helping me or is just everybody having sex around here? Uh, then in the third act, you know, it all, everybody's exposed. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. Everyone, Joan. Everyone. There'll be intrigue. So this is, on the one hand, it's definitely a, women, a woman movie. It, it's definitely aimed at women, I think. But on the other hand, there is stuff for guys because look at the cast. Hubba hubba. So I don't know, fellas. It's a tough call. I mean, maybe just watch it and kind of tune out the dialogue. <laughs> I mean, and then your girlfriend will just be like, shh, shut up. Oh, she's hot. Shh, I'm trying to follow the story. <laughs> so, I guess there's a little something for everyone. Um, it doesn't feel like a particularly smart movie. It just feels like a lot of drama ju jammed into it. Because I'm not saying, like, I mean, did she kill herself or not? Like, the trailer implies she did it, like, right in front of her friend. She, like, went out in the water to swim and then and then died. And then, like, her friend looked up, I don't know, from her phone and said, Oh, my God, are you dead? <laughs> but, uh, you know, it looks okay for one of these movies. Would I watch it? No. I, I would tolerate it for someone I was dating. Like, if she wanted to watch this, I'd be like, All right. Not just... Kind of tune it out. And I'd just be like, wow, Elizabeth Hurley looks amazing. <laughs> I would just think that. I wouldn't say it aloud. You don't want to say those thoughts aloud, fellas, if you're watching a movie like this with your girlfriend. You want to keep that part to yourself. Just think to yourself, oh, holy cow. And you can get friends later and be like, ah, oh, it's this horrible movie. It's called Strictly Confidential. Oh, man, but the, 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 the chicks in this flick. One was hotter than the next. Really? Yeah. The story goes nowhere. I don't even know what it was. But Elizabeth Hurley looks incredible. Oh, man. She's got her boobs out the whole movie just about. That That's kind of the way you got to deal with it, I'd say. Anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D. And sleepy little Joan. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more videos. Catch me at Gator Weekend. Catch me at uh, Granville. Catch me at Zed's Brewery on Sunday at 4 for my talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil. Hope to see you there. We'll see you tomorrow.